you have any literature? Yeah, um, yeah, I'll give you everything I got. Do you have any extra large uh, condoms? Uh, um, I just like to say that I'm here. Okay. <laughs> <It's just fun. laughs> I've never been asked that before. I, I don't even know what those are, honestly, because someone just donated them and then, yeah, I just have them here for That's people, cool. so. Thank you, sir. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, imagine actually thinking about something before you make the world's biggest decision, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> People put more thought into their pizza toppings than into having kids. I know. Now my kid takes all my pizza toppings. <laughs> I should have thought about that. Yeah. Um, it's a lot to think about, a lot to consider. And thanks for the food for thought. I appreciate it. Yeah, for sure. Another, another good point is how many kids are in foster care? Then? Yeah, we, we have a sign that says almost 500,000 kids in the foster care system, which is actually a little inaccurate. It's about 425,000, but if yeah. it wasn't the whole aging out thing, it would be way more than even 500,000. And then what happens to those kids who age out and then they've got... Well, nothing, there's a you know? very high rate of um, houselessness, imprisonment, yep. human trafficking, suicide, yep. drug substance abuse, uh, all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Like, they're... Their, upbr their upbringing is too traumatic. They have too many problems. They have no support, no safety it's net. Terrible. They're it's fucked. Terrible. They have to so sell their bodies. More. We're already have problems. I love exactly. that you guys are out here. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. If you ever, yeah, that would be perfect. And if you ever want to join us, let us know. Thank you. Uh huh. I'm so glad that you're out here. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. It's so awful and disgusting what's <laughs> happening in Texas and other places. Okay. Yeah. So what's stophavingkids.org? I think that would be a really great service to the planet. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, definitely. I mean, first off, you probably already know there's so much already existing life, whether we're talking about humans or other animals yeah. uh, who are in need. And why are they not the priority? Why are we, um, when, when birth control exists, contraception exists, obviously access differs across the world. Thank you. Um, but yeah, we should be we should be encouraging people. We should be societies and cultures should not be encouraging their citizens to have kids. They should be encouraging their citizens to take care of already existing life. Well, um, yeah, again, in my role, like I'm expected to say as a pastor, oh, another little miracle. It's like, well, maybe, maybe not. Maybe a miracle would be living in harmony with the earth and like yeah. coming back into balance. Yeah. Why? Why should we stop having kids? Yeah. Uh, well, we think there's a lot of ethical implications from having kids. Uh, I mean, it's suffering for, it's major suffering for someone that could have been avoided had they not come into existence. You were a kid uh, one time. Yeah, I know. This is, not, it's about humans. We all start as babies and kids. Mm -hmm. It's about humans. It's not about, it's not about kids. It's not about parents. So, so what's, um, the, what's the problem with having kids? Well, like I said, there's, uh, like, like I started out saying, there's a considerable extremely considerable amount of suffering uh, by coming into existence. Like, I don't know what you've been through, but most humans have been through a lot, and those uh, situations could have been avoided had they not come into existence. We also, with our consumption choices especially, and also maybe how we just treat other humans and other animals, we um, cause a lot of suffering onto others. But if we um, stop, we're, we're going to extend. Sorry? If we stop, there's no more generation. We're going to extend. Um, this, uh, just a total stop to humans having kids is completely unrealistic. That's not what we're, what we're advocating for. And how are we going to have the next generation? And the next we're going to keep having the next generation until we naturally go extinct. Uh, this is not going to stop people from having kids. Like, this is, we're just a couple people standing here. Like, yeah, no, I know. we're not I just, stopping it, anyone from having kids. Eyes. I'm like, what do you mean stop having kids? Yeah, so. we just think it's very unethical to have kids. And we think we should be prioritizing already existing life. So all the humans and other animals that are in need of major life improvement, uh, we believe they should be the priority. So we have the right to live, but we don't have the right to get more kids. No, I'm not, okay. I'm not, I didn't say that. We're not trying to take away anyone's rights. We're pro-choice. No, no, you I can understand. totally, understand. people, if someone here wants to have 500 kids, we're not going to stop them. Uh, we just would rather people, um, um, I know, we, I got this done. So if we don't have kids, we got just finish the That's it. Done. We're actually headed to the extinction right now uh, by having kids. Uh, we're severely overpopulated. I, I, have this, I see this sign, I'll kill you. Being your kid. 
That's I pretty fucked up. One time. Yeah, this is not anti-kids. I already explained that to you. It's about reducing suffering in the world. Do you have a problem with prioritizing already existing life that's a need, like I had said? Yeah, I personally would love, would like my kids to have their chance in life. I'd rather go, not my kids. I don't understand what you mean by that. Me neither. Nobody understands your side either. Well, you don't want to understand. You're not trying to have an no. intelligent conversation. No, it doesn't make no sense. It doesn't make no sense. I explained it pretty clearly. Um, things are kind of out of control and they're not necessarily going to get better. Because um, I, I do meet a lot of people when they see this, they say, oh my God, me and my friends or me and my husband or whatever, we were just talking about this like um, just an hour ago or yesterday or whatever. So. Question, do you have any kids? Uh, no, I haven't had any kids. I got a vasectomy. And do you think kids are right? Like, to uh, this is not anti-kids. Pro -re recreate, is it right? Uh, yeah, I think it's right, yeah. So it's just a choice. You're, you're yeah, we think people should be making more uh, ecologically and socially responsible choices. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, thanks, man. Oh, for sure. Sorry, what was your question? Well, my question is, what is this all about? Like, um, stop having kids. Yeah. Um, it's rooted in reducing suffering in the world. So, um, you know, by coming into existence, uh, we. I mean, obviously it varies person to person, but we, we go through a lot of suffering and we also spread a lot of suffering to other humans and to other animals. Uh, we spread a lot of destruction to the environment. So you're, you're um, planning on just making the planet die? No, actually, uh, we're actually killing the planet right now by uh, mindlessly and ruthlessly uh, procreating. Like we have about 8 billion humans right now and um, climate change is just getting really severely out of control. You must be Our, a very unhappy person. No, why would you say that? Well, because unhappy people normally cannot create happy people. When you're happy, you have a child, you'll do everything you want. Are you just happy you all can. the time? You'll do everything you can to make that child happy. Yeah, and how are you, you going to make um, a child happy if they have eco-anxiety, which is extremely common right now among children and adults? Eco-anxiety eco -anxiety and eco-grief, they basically, they're very similar things. They, um, they mean like being scared about the future, um, about the climate, about the planet getting too hot, about not, um, not about, about, can you please let me answer? Um, about, I mean, please let me go on. About running out of food, about running out of uh, water scarcity. These are all real problems and lots, don't, please do not invalidate this. Lots of children and teenagers have very severe eco-anxiety. I've heard it from many kids and teenagers myself to my very face. And you can't keep them safe from climate change. You can't keep them safe from that. That's life. Well, yeah. If yeah, if you no, that's that's not what I'm saying. But if you have kids, you bring them into a very unsafe world, and we believe we should be prioritizing already existing life. Yeah, I know, and it's gotten like really out of control. I didn't. I didn't say that. Yeah, but you're still. You still understand that it's a cruel world, and you're willfully bringing someone into it, and like. Yeah, so why would you bring someone into a cruel situation if you don't have to? It's not all cruel, though. I didn't say it was. So, why not make the best with, and they, they learn the good, the bad, just like we, we brought kids in, they learn the good, the bad, they're happy, sometimes they're not happy. You have bad moments, you have happy moments, but are you happy to be alive? No, I'm not happy to be alive. No. A lot of people aren't, though. Do you wow. do you not believe that? I, uh, yeah, I believe that. I believe that. Okay. Yeah. So when and you I bring someone, you. I'm happy to be alive. Okay. Because well, that's great. That you don't have to feel sorry for me, and I don't. I, honestly, I don't believe you really do feel sorry for me. I do. I feel sorry for people like you that don't want to bring any new life. I want to reduce suffering. I'm actually. Have you ever protested anything, or have you ever done any outreach demonstrations like what we're doing? Yet. But I said, have you ever have you ever taken any time out of your life to stand up for a major issue? Uh, I have my opinion, but I don't. But you haven't taken any time out of your life to stand up for a major issue, and that's what me and her are doing. Because of us, we are going to be able to um, reduce some amount of suffering in the world. What we are doing is a positive thing. So I would really appreciate if you try to stop making it sound so negative, because it's not. We're not stopping anyone from having kids. We're not taking away anyone's that's rights. What it says there, stop having kids. We're just two people peacefully standing here holding a sign. If anyone here wants to go home and make babies. Babies tonight, they're free to do that. We're not um, taking away anyone's choice. We're not harassing anyone. We're not intimidating anyone. We're not threatening anyone. We're not pressuring anyone. Just that sign that you're holding right now, stop having kids, will make people like us stop and wonder what this is all about. And that's great. That's what we want. We want people to come up to us and ask us.
vegans have to go through when they go out with their messaging where it's like oh don't you should be saying it like this or you should be saying it like that like we're not trying to demonize you at all well i mean you're you're implying that we're standing here trying to like he did (laughs) i did i totally did you did i totally did so and we're not so you're literally reading this sign that says let's help those who those who exist are in need you don't need a sign for people to know to do that that's ridiculous how so you don't you don't think so then why are people having children when there's so many kids that need help right now that need homes because some of that need can actually support those children they can also support children that they didn't birth either that need their help more sure. than so a child who is non-existing support from those other families this is nonsense no it's not why You've is it nonsense like a, all right. You're going, Why is it nonsense? You're, 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 you're saying it's we're nonsense. Just saying, we're, just, we're just saying think about it's, it because yeah, it's not it's Well, not I have right I have yeah. thought about this it. Is this is why I'm this standing here. That's your opinion. That's your opinion. I can't believe this is the reaction from vegans. This is wild. We have better reaction from non-vegans. It's nuts. And y'all are supposed to be open-minded? Fuck. What are you guys protesting? Oh, we're not protesting anything. We're just doing an outreach demonstration. Uh, that's a lot of stuff. It's a very multifaceted message. But one, we're advocating for people to actually put thought into the idea of procreation because most people just just have kids without thinking about it. They think it's just like a life path they have to take. Um, that's part of it. We're uh, we're kind of normalizing the child-free lifestyle because both me and her are child-free and we can discuss those benefits and a lot of people are child-free and um, they people always say uh, if you're, you're child-free you'll regret it one day and that's very rare but what's not rare is regretting becoming a parent oh, so yeah. we talk I'll about child-free. you what i'll probably be child-free cool and yeah we encourage people who if they do want to ever take on caring for more life than their own to take care of already existing life whether we're talking about humans or other animals or a mix of them yeah. Why not help someone who already exists? And if awesome, thank you. Why not do not? Why not help someone who already exists? Teach them the stuff, and if they want to help tackle some issues, they can. But yeah, that's true. Yeah. I mean, I'm probably not gonna have kids, and I agree. agree. You should get a vasectomy. That's like that's the thing, though. Like, what if in the future, like you can reverse it? You can reverse vasectomy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, and and in the future, if you do want to have a kid, what's wrong with like fostering or adopting? That's true. So uh, yeah, there's so much there's so much already existing life in need. Um, so that's like a larger part of our message. Um, yeah, it's it's all about looking out for the collective whole, yeah. humans and animals and the environment, and um, yeah, encouraging alternatives yeah. that people aren't and encouraging like these kinds of conversations to be had. Yeah. I mean, we we think all procreation is unethical, but all procreation is unethical. Yeah, no because of the kid. No, did you have a choice to be born? No, Did you consent? A lot of us, a lot of people weren't. Of us weren't you know. So it's a gamble. You never know if your kid's going to be glad they were born or not. A good walk on this, you know, life that not everybody has. What about you? Are you like, are you? It's been hard. Yeah, but are you glad to be alive? Sometimes, it catch me on the day. Like, sometimes I am, sometimes I'm not. Today I'm having a good day. Yeah, I'm glad to be alive today. But ask, Plus me, you're out here, ask like, me next Thursday, some shit may happen that affects me so bad that I'm just like, man, fuck this life. I don't want to do this shit. I'm ready to plus, pull this up. Yeah, plus if she hadn't come into existence, she wouldn't be deprived. Like, even if she did love her life so much, uh, and every sec, every, even if she loved every single second of her life, she still wouldn't be deprived by not coming into existence. Because she wouldn't know about it. She wouldn't know what she's missing because she doesn't exist. Yeah, but, so. okay. Yeah, I recommend checking out the website, um, stophavingkids.org. Yeah. Yeah, think about it. That's what we want people to do. We want people to think. Have a good day. You too. I guess we could pretty much get going because it's clearing out.